welcome back. It's been about four months since my last vlog, which was in Bangladesh, of course, arriving back in Manchester Airport. And I'm here in Tremor Backstrand in County Waterford on this blustery late afternoon in spring, early April. And we're just a day after Storm Kathleen has hit this side of Europe and I'm just parked over there because you simply can't park along the promenade where I normally park. It's all blocked off obviously because of the recent storm. It's very blustery out here. And the main reason I'm here today is to test out my new DJI Osmo Pocket 3 camera and compare it to my Action 4, which I used for the most part in Bangladesh. As you can see, the car parks are all closed, not a single car or vehicle anywhere to be seen for safety reasons. And have a look at that sea. It's the Celtic Sea, lapping on the shores of Tremor. That's Tremor in the distance there, the actual main section of the seaside town. And look at these waves there. I don't want to get too close. Better back away anyway. Right, so I'm going to head over the sand dunes, which is in front of us there and see what there is to see. So I've now changed over to my Action 4. The sun is over there, so it's now behind me. As you can see, I'm not very well backlit, but if I move it this way, you might be able to see me better. So just to give you a comparison between the two, see what you think. So I'll move it this way anyway. You can see me all lit up now. And I'm using the DJI wireless mic for this one the mark one and for the pocket three i'm using the mark two so i don't know if you could tell in the difference in the audio but i'm sure that there'll be much of a muchness anyway but just check out the foam the sea has brought in all that foam and i just got a bit drenched there with my feet it just got me from behind when i least expected it but then it's all part of the fun but Comparing the two cameras as is, I prefer this one for quick turns and the other one because it's on a gimbal, you've got to wait, you've got that adjustment to do. Well, this one you can just quickly flip it around that way and flip it back around this way. So it's just your own preference. But then I've got to practice more on the Pocket 3. So I guess, as they say, practice makes perfect. So I'd better give you my health update because those of you who know me will, you probably guessed it, yeah. Back in July, I suffered a heart attack. And the story behind it is that I just registered with an NHS GP in Chester. I was home to visit my family. And before that, I had suffered some symptoms. Uh, they're not your regular heart attack symptoms, which, or rather what the media portrays that you're clutching your chest in pain and you collapse to the ground and... <laughs> you die after a few seconds, there's nothing like that, but I've been getting sharp pains in my chest, in my arm, out of breath, and I just thought it was due to me being unfit. So... My GP checked me out and then sent me to the emergency clinic to the Countess of Chester Hospital. Fair use to the staff there, they're absolutely brilliant. And two days later, I was transferred via ambulance, mind you, to Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital. And the staff, once again, are absolutely superb. 
I was released a few days later after having an angiogram and another test where they fill you with liquid. I'm not too sure what that test is. And they found that there was an abnormality on the right side of my heart. So basically they couldn't put stents in. So an option was to have bypass surgery, but that's only going to be a last resort. So in place, I'm on several drugs. Uh, how many medications they put me on? Five different ones anyway. And as you saw in Bangladesh, I was there for six weeks. Yes, I wasn't feeding the best throughout it. So there was a, the odd day where I wasn't feeling like heading out and that and I was resting. But if it looks if I was traversing all around the place, they were just short journeys, short walks and that, and the rest of the time I was relying on public transport. So after I came back, uh, my GP in Kilkenny put me on the cardiac rehab at St. Luke's Hospital, the local hospital there. The cardiac nurse is absolutely brilliant and the physio as well. I've been on that for the last three weeks and slowly but surely I'm getting stronger and stronger. And yeah, I'm blessed. I really am blessed. I'm lucky. Because if you are feeling any kind of symptoms, get checked out by your GP. It will save your life. Because if I carry on the way I am, I could be in a worse state, God forbid. But anyway, looking up to the future, end of the month, I'll be out and about again, vlogging properly. <laughs> like you know and love me to do. Oh, forgot to mention I'm on the Pocket 3 now. And so uh, that's gonna be, I'll be exploring a few new places and go back to an old favorite place. So I'm gonna leave you guessing for that. Oh, I just wish that the weather was a lot better. It's just too windy, it's cold. We're meant to be in the first month of spring, but then we did have a storm last night. But yeah, I'm just enjoying it as I can. There's lovely sunshine around and that is a view looking back to Tremor Town. So whilst I'm here, I thought I'd bring out my Sony a7 III because the view over there into Tremor Town looks very hazy. So here it is there. I've got to take a few snaps. It might look better a little bit later on uh, when the sun is closer to the horizon, but I don't know if you can see that one, but... Huh. So I've walked uh, a couple of miles there. Uh, back strand is way over there behind me and we're now on Tremors Promenade so I'll show you around what it's like it is after dusk sunset was around 20 minutes ago so as you can see there's no cars around because they blocked off access due to the high winds and the waves and have a look at those waves uh, very choppy indeed and those of you who saw part one of my Copper Coast vlog and that was in October 2020. We'll remember that it was around this spot that Jair Lingus got splashed. <laughs> A 
and that was one of the funniest moments you ever saw in my vlogs. So it is quite peaceful out here, hardly anyone around. Me being windswept with my hair, I'll be sporting a new style after this. <laughs> But that's the amusement park in front. It's not open yet from the looks of things. So it'll probably be opening later on in the month. Don't quote me on it. But that's the church on the hill you can see. I'll have an arrow there pointing. And further along you can see, if I can zoom in on it, right there you can see those lights in the middle of the frame. That's where the amusements are and the famous Dooley's Chipper. We've reached the arcades now, the leisure centres, and this is the famous Dooley's Chippy, which I told you about, or Chipper, as they say, in Ireland. I've not bought anything from here. It's been about eight years. I vaguely remember what the food was like, but I bought it from the branch up above the town further up the hill and they did get my order wrong but the food was okay but as we wander around Strand Road of Tremor it's an excellent chance to test the low light capability of this camera it is a one inch sensor I'm shooting at 2.7k at 25 frames per second just to give you a gist of things and that's what I've also been shooting on the Action 3 as well here's another arcade there and just further up Strand Road, there's another couple of takeaways here. Murphy's, I didn't notice that one before, so that could be new. But the one I tend to go to would be Massimo's. It's great value and they give you loads in their portion. So that's my excuse for eating there. And just across the road to the right, you have an Aldi that only opened within the last three years, I think. Unless I'm mistaken, if I am, feel free to correct me in the comments below. So that's handy to have in this town. Right, so we're at the top of Strand Road more or less and I guess it's time for me to bid my farewell. So thank you for joining me on this short vlog. So don't forget in May you will see the exciting ones happening on my locations out and about. I'll be getting on the plane. I'm really excited for it. So thank you for joining me for this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It'll mean the world to me. I'm nearly at a thousand subscribers. It's been like that for ages for some strange reason. And so I shall wish you an amazing week. You'll take care. And until the next time, bye. And whilst I'm here, I thought I'd take a few shots with my Sony a7 III because looking at the view over there, it looks quite interesting and very misty with the haze and that. So let me just... No, no, bring the camera back to me. As you, I said point there and then look at hazy and then bring it back to me. Okay, start that. Right there, you can see those lights in the middle of the frame that's where the movement that's where the those lights in the middle of the frame that's where the immu which you'll see in a moment shut the time uh. Myself, what a wonderful.